Hi, this is Piyush Bhargava and I have an interesting case to share with you. Let's start by reviewing the rotating image on this patient with history of lung cancer. Their primary lung cancer in the left lung was treated with chemotherapy and radiation and this is a follow-up FDG PET CT scan. So on this study we see this large area of hypermetabolism in the left lung and this corresponds to multifocal consolidation and heterogeneous hypermetabolism seen on this fused axial PET CT image. Notice, however, that the consolidation has a linear edge, and this is characteristic of a radiation port, so this finding suggests radiation pneumonitis. However, we cannot rule out any underlying residual or recurrent lung cancer. So in this situation, we typically wait for some time and do a follow-up scan. So let's look at the follow-up study on this patient. Here is a rotating image. So this rotating image shows interval resolution of the hypermetabolism in the left lung. And on the transaxial image, we see that the multifocal consolidation has also mostly resolved. There is no focus of increased uptake to suggest residual or recurrent lung cancer. So this is, was definitely radiation pneumonitis, which resolved over a period of time, and there has been good response to therapy. So typically after radiation, we want to wait for at least three months or 12 weeks to do a follow-up scan and in a situation where we run into hypermetabolism we want to wait a little bit more and do another follow-up study. I have a companion case for you. Here is a patient with history of laryngeal cancer and we can see here there is focal hypermetabolism that corresponds to soft tissue thickening which is seen here. So this patient underwent surgery and radiation therapy and on their follow-up PET CT scan, which is right here, there is a focus of mild uptake involving the left submandibular region. This focus corresponds to an enlarged left submandibular gland seen here on the CT and on the fused PET CT image. Now, this is an example of post radiation sialadenitis. Uh, the teaching point here is that if we were reading this uh, finding only on the fused transaxial image, we can toggle the intensity and make it appear intense and raise the suspicion of recurrent um, or metastatic. Uh, cancer involving the submandibular gland. So it's important to review the relative hypermetabolism of any focus of abnormal uptake on the rotating image before we start looking at the transaxial CT, uh, the PET, or the fused PET CT image. Here's a good article on potential pitfalls and artifacts when we are looking at FDG PET CT scans. Thank you for watching.